Hello there everybody, Joseph here, and I hope you all had a awesome New Year's as well as a awesome Christmas, even though I've gone over that before. <laughs> Anyways, yes, we're back with some more Reza Flight action with Jacques Montet, part of the French Air Force, as you can see here. We are in the Pat Wilson generator screen. Nothing has changed so far. This is uh, so far that I know. Unless somebody's been playing my game, so let's go ahead and grab a mission here. Alright, it looks like it's going to be a penetrating of the enemy airspace near uh, Champagne. Champagne. And engage enemy aircraft that you engage. So it's kind of a, um, it's a patrol, but it's a, um, we're a patrol being sent up because we know there's going to be aircraft in the area. So we'll go ahead and accept that mission. And I will join you all in game, so stay tuned. And oh, here we are in game. I was going to say welcome back. I don't know why I was going to say that. Uh, here we are in game. Let's go ahead and go to the hangar. And let's choose a couple of things. Let's go ahead and switch out some of the stuff. Let's go with a, uh, we'll go with a yellow scarf this time. And let's see. A, mm -hmm. Why not a blue streamer? Blue streamer. There we go. And we'll leave it with the LaBelle, uh, uh, the LaBelle rifle, uh, revolver. Bleh. Can't speak tonight. And let's go ahead and jump in game. Go ahead and click that. Start us off. All right. There we go. We're in game. Let's boost up that mixture there so that we can properly start our engine here. Well, that's going to get very confusing as Flight Lead has a blue streamer as well. So yeah, I hope you guys had a great uh, New Year's and a great uh, Christmas, if you celebrate that kind of thing. Uh, I sure did. I've gotten a lot of awesome stuff, as I was saying in the last video. Uh, one of the very cool things I got uh, recently, did I, oh, I hit, I'm thinking of IL-2, I hit I, it's E in this one. Uh, one of the things I got... Uh, I know I kind of went over this already in the last video, but I got the Power Director Director Suite, which is all of uh, the Power Director stuff for 75% off when it was on sale over the uh, holidays there. <clears throat> and oh my goodness gracious, I am so glad I picked it up. It was one of the best uh, decisions I made. The video rendering time has been cut dramatically in half. Uh, before with Sony Vegas Movie Studios. Oh look, we're out of winter and we're coming up into spring. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> as I go off on a tangent there. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, with Sony Sony Vegas Movie Studios, my rendering times for these videos being however long they are, 30, you know, between 20 and 30 minutes, usually how long these videos last. Uh, one of those videos would take about two to three hours, maybe even more, in Sunny Vegas. Now, with Power Director, it's half that. It takes between 15 to an hour long to render out these videos. So, what does that mean for you all? Well, it means that I can render these videos out a lot faster, and in turn, being able to render out uh, videos faster, I kind of lost my flight lead there. He's right above me. Uh, being able to render these videos out faster also means that I'm able to have more videos up available for uploading. The uh, And that's what's going to take the majority of the time now is uploading, which it should, not rendering. Which uploading is not bad. It's usually between, depending on how long the video is, two to maybe four hours. And that's, uh, that's not bad, especially with the uh, kind of speeds that I have. Uh, of course, it, if it was faster, I'd, uh, you know, it'd be better, but whatever. Uh, and of course, I am going to go over this again. I think I'm going to do another channel update video just to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, and some changes that's going to happen to the channel here. As far as uh, video releases and the schedule, as well as my little New Year's resolution, which is to actually get videos out more. Start putting out videos every week. Every not well, not just every week, but hopefully every day. But enough of the rambling. I'm going to cut here as we uh, begin our climb before we turn into the front, and I will join you all when we get to some action. So stay tuned. Here, let's uh, 
Did a little flyby. And welcome back. Uh, we've hit the end of our patrol tail, I guess you could call it. Uh, the end of the patrol before we turn around down there at the river that you can see down there. And we were starting our turnaround back home. Sadly, nothing has been, nothing has been out here. I haven't spotted a single aircraft yet. Which makes me kind of sad because I've only got one kill and I'd like to rectify that and get a couple more. Wish some Iron Deckers to show up. So that we can uh, have a little fight here. Though, quite it is diving down a bit. He's doing a diving turn, so he might just be... Let's cut back to the bottle there. Bloop, our, bloop ourselves down. But yeah, nothing is showing up. Nothing that I can see. Trying to stay uh, stay at least with uh, flight lead here. Uh, maybe on the return trip back home. We will run into something. Kinda sad when there's nothing to shoot. Not an exciting video. Come on, game. We need stuff to shoot. Cause I ain't got nothing to talk about. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm gonna cut here again. And we'll join you all either when we reach the airfield or uh, when something shows up. Finally shows up. So, uh, stay tuned. And welcome back. As you might have seen before I uh, talked back in, Flightly just took a dive down, so he must have spotted something. Look it around. You might also have noticed that in the uh, call attention to it, I don't know why I'm going to call attention to it, but the record feature button has been started up, and the reason for that being is just so I can get some better screenshots. This way I can go back in. Afterwards, watch the recording and get some screenshots of the action and stuff for uh, the thumbnails. Something I'm gonna try, uh, try and do. I politely, did you see something or did you not see something? Oh wait, I see it. Puffs of smoke. What are you? Exhaust fumes is what I'm seeing. Uh oh, rolling threes. Ugh. I think. Yeah, they look like it. I don't want to take on Rollins. Are you mad? Uh, oh no. Yeah, they're Rollins. Okay. I say no, they're Halberstats. They're the uh, little uh, Halberstadt fighter, but they're not. They're Rollins. All right. So let's see if we can't get some good hits. Oh, gun jammed. All right. Let's try and do this properly. Do some diving attacks here. Pull them away, keep an eye on them. Climb. Doesn't help they're kind of climbing too. Flatley's gonna get shot down. Did I get hit? I didn't it didn't seem like I got I didn't hear a hit on me. Might have, we might not have. I don't know. The silo is that. Could have got us it. Gun didn't jam. I said gun. Uh, and I've lost sight of them. I think they're in front of me, aren't they? Yeah, they're right there. Okay. What are you? Are you flight lead? No, there's flight lead. Okay, you're just a rolling out, out by yourself. Uh, he's on the six of somebody. I really need to find something that decreases their accuracy. They seem way too accurate. The gunners of these aircraft. Oh, 
Let's try and swing in on this guy in the rear here. Let's make sure we keep him somewhat in our sights. All right, let's dive in. Loop a little bit so we don't go uh, go and rip our wings off. Uh, that was a little too far away. Uh, still too far. It's fine though. Oop, I think we got a hit. He's smoking, he's white smoking. Uh, this is not good, I'm not... Alright, let's not try and level fight with him. We got a nice hit, I think. I don't know how much ammo I've got in the gun. At least in this magazine. A drum, I guess is the true technical term of it. There's a drum, it's not a magazine. More closely related to a box. And so he's uh, dumping some kind of uh, vapor out. I don't know if it's fuel, if we've hit his uh, radiator. Right, let's see if we can't swing inside here. Alright, come on. Nope, it's still a little too far out. Don't need to slow down for this one, so we're not really diving that far. More or less coming in level with them, which is not a good idea. Got one on my tail. Flight lead, I think, might be down. The uh, gunners are shooting at me. Let's pull it up. That's not. Let's not do that. Uh, let's see here. We need to. Break off and get some altitude. Here we go back in. He's vaping something. I feel like I'm vaping something, but I don't know. Feels okay. I can't tell anything about him. I'll have a heat indicator. Or do I? Is it on the floor? I don't know. No, I don't see anything that shows heat. Drum still might be good, I'm not sure. What is that behind me? Is that a... I'm going to swing in on this guy. I think this is a rolling by himself. Interesting. He's got split off by the pack, which is perfect, actually. Because... There won't be 500 different gunners shooting at me. Well, several other gunners shooting at me, not 500. I'm not flying into a formation of B-17s. Loop, loop, loop. Ah, of course. Going for the reload. Alright, I can't tell. I think these Rollins are actually trying to attack me. It seems like they're following me around. Now, there is a way. I think it's... Is it... Oh, R? Yeah, I could technically. Though. It'd be kind of hard to do, but you can shoot upwards at the guys so you can go under them. But we're not going to try that. We'll probably never hit anything. Best to just try and keep doing what we're doing. Keep booming and zooming them. This way their gunners only have a couple of seconds to shoot. Even though I only have a couple of seconds to shoot. But, you know, we'll do a little bit more damage. Probably should have took the twin Lewises. That guy there seems like he's having a lot of trouble. 
Oh, Flight Lee might have screwed. That might have been the one Flight Lee was on, and I think he damaged him quite a bit. Let's, uh. <sighs> but I think he shot down Flight Lead, so let's see if we can't get some uh, Venge on Flight Lead here. An eye out. There's one over there. So where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There is he. It's not even a word, is it? Alrighty. See if we can't uh, redeem ourselves here. We got some good hits on one, so we could probably claim that one. I'm sure he'll be going down eventually. He was leaking something. And usually when you start leaking things, it's not a good thing. That's either fuel or your engine's like overcooking. Uh, doesn't turn out to be uh, very good. There's something else right there. Yeah, there's the rest of the pack. Okay. So it does look like these Rollins are kind of trying to circle behind me. Or they're doing the AI thing and they just start circling an area for no good reason but to circle an area. Some kind of bug. I don't know how to fix it. This Roland. It's getting ahead of us fairly quickly. We loop ourselves down. Let's make sure we don't excessively use the blue switch and kill our engine. Which we've done that before. Uh, this run might not be that good, but we're going to try anyways. The guy is not leaking anything else. Oh, no, he is. He's still vaping a little bit. Let's see here. Some rounds out there. Try and not get hit by the gunner there. Zoom away. And let's start coming back up. Yeah, he's got some dark smoke coming out of his stack there. From the looks of it. And we also could try some climbing attacks. Zoom down and then on our, on our, uh, our dive down and then on our zoom up, spray the lower side of the aircraft. Well, this does put us in a little bit of a risk. And this gunner's starting to shoot at me, as you can see. And, whoa. You're shooting up from under the tail? Ah, poops. Alright. I've been honeyed. Alright, well. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Let's head west. It is only going to last for so long. Uh, and I'm not real sure where I'm at as far as the line goes. I believe I'm still at the tail end. There's a big old force there, so yeah, we're quite a ways out. Is there any airfields nearby? Looks like there is. Let's level out and have a little look here. Uh, let me stop the recording since we don't need it anymore. Let's see here. A couple towns. There is an airfield. A little bit further out. I don't know if I can make it to there. We we'll try and make it to Resna. Rasan. Uh, well, let's try and make it to that airfield there. 
We follow the river. Where's the river? It was over that way. Whoops, I didn't mean to turn the map off. We follow the river. Might be able to find it. I wish I could wipe my face. And yes, I did turn off that, uh, the, uh, mod that lowers the oil splatter, or changes it to, a uh, uh, an easier to see through, just because it, it, it took away the challenge of trying to find stuff, trying to see with oil in your face. And I believe, actually... that I see the airfield. I do see a town. Looks like there is a town. Uh, actually, it's a little bit further in, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit further south down this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Then the engine goes. Not good. Especially with a big old forest in the, in the way here. Alright, so we're going to have to land on the line. Maybe we can get a truck back. Yeah, I'm not getting splattered in the face with the wheel anymore. The engine's gone. So we'll try and land on our side of the lines at least. We might be able to get a uh, little bit of a trip. You know, might be able to round up a truck or something to get ourselves back to base. Two seaters, the bane of my existence. Just gotta hope we don't get hit by one of the artillery shells there. And we need a good, nice, soft area, which does not look like it's gonna happen because it just looks like mountain ranges to me. Well, hilly areas, not mountain ranges. So this is gonna be a little rough. Just go ahead and cut the engine back. All right, it's gonna be extremely, extremely rough with all the trees. Try and find an opening. It looks like there's a good opening here. Uh, French troopsy. I think those are French troops. French guns, at least. And there are some trucks. So hey, we can get a shuttle back. One bounce, two bounce, and a roll across the field and touchdown. Huh. Well, darn. That was uh, bound to happen there. Yeah, a couple of uh, French guns and French trucks there, looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and end the flight here. Finish flight. Yep. Uh, we're going to claim that one rolling, as I'm sure he's going to go down eventually. Uh, we were defeated, of course, and we crash landed because our engine got shot up. But I will join you all when we get to the generator screen, so stay tuned. And welcome back. Here we are back at the generator screen. So let's go ahead and submit that combat report. Uh, we will claim one, and it was a rolling three. It looked like there was some Fockers and DFWs out there. Too bad we didn't run into those Iron Duckers. Well, let's go ahead and submit that report. And we will start the debrief. So we flew out, we flew south. And the gun carriage got blown up. Gun carriage got blown up. A bunch of gun carriages got blown up. Looked like there was a slot going on. Uh, rolling three damage by Jacques. I damaged it twice, and then a rolling turned around and damaged me and destroyed me when he popped my engine. Uh, no news on flight lead, so I have no clue what happened to him. So let's uh, finish this debrief. Complete the debrief. Our claim was denied. The mission... Okay, so flight lead, Agar Creamer, survived. I was promoted to sergeant. So I'm now a sergeant. We got... Uh, wait, he was already in. Why was he transferred again? Well, we got Sergeant George Jaimir again. And Soy Lieutenant Jacob Gentel. Gentelon. Gentelon. There we go. Finish that reading, and that's it. Oh, I was going to say, we got two kills? No, we're not at the bottom list anymore. Albert Dina, uh, Dulen is now below us. All right, so nothing exciting there. Of course, our bane of existence 
the uh, stupid rear gunners of of uh, <laughs> of the two seaters uh, continuing to invade us. We're not able to get any kills on them. Ah, <sighs> darn. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time.